the regular season is coming to a close and then things get very, very real. And for another edition of the Rise Hoops Rewind Fast Forward, I'm Corey McCartney along with Dan McDonald. Dan, welcome back. Yeah, thanks for having me, Corey. Absolutely, Dan. Now let's dial it back. And Newton has been making some noise. The class of 22 is TJ Clark playing very, very well. What have you seen from this team that makes you think that they're a sleeper in 7A? Yeah, so you just mentioned it. TJ, I watched the game on Saturday against Brookwood, and he had 26 points on six threes and probably played about as well as I've ever seen him play. And just the rebound and it flying all over the place on defense. He was he was awesome. But to me, what makes them really scary, not just this year, but going forward, is their sophomore class is absolutely stacked. Uh, Stephon Castle only had two points on Saturday, but I was joking with this coach after the game. Like, it's probably the best game I've ever seen anybody have, but they only had two points because he just did everything else. And then uh, Marcus Whitlock was a revelation in the second half. Had a, probably the best dunk I've seen all year. Hit a few threes. They were missing Ja'Kai Newton, one of their best players. Um, they have Quay Brown, who had a really good game. So, yeah, they have a lot of a lot of depth and a lot of young guys, too. So they'll be not just a threat this year, but next year and the year after, probably. Okay, so let's go from a sleeper to a team that everybody knows about. Uh, Pace is undefeated in, in its region, the number one seed. Can this team win another championship in 2A? Yeah, so it'll be really interesting because last year Pace won the state championship, obviously, but they were 3A. So this year they're down in 2A, which means they have to mess with Swainsboro, who is actually defending 2A state champion. So uh, Pace is off to a 21 and 1 start. Swainsboro is sitting right there behind them at 14 and 1. And then you always, right behind them, you also have uh, Columbia, who's always one of the top teams in the state. And anybody who knows, you know, the land of basketball knows that Columbia has pumped out some really, really good players over the years, and they still have good players this year. So It'll be really interesting to see how the two-way bracket shapes up. Well, for everything hoops, make sure you're following Rise Hoops on Instagram and Twitter and getting everything at risehoops.com. Dan, thanks, and we'll run it back next week. Yeah, thank you, Corey.